Obama is so busy in Chicago right now that it's understandable that he's not in Georgia. And I think that he thinks that we should let that be for the Democrats and the Republicans. I don't know that I agree. I think it would have been pretty great. We've seen on the on the Republican side, we've seen Saxby Chambliss bring in uh, Sarah Palin. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know why you bring in Sarah Palin. I don't know what Sarah Palin does. Um, I think, I'll, you know... I, I, this is what, one of the things I never understand about politics. Yes, she energizes a base, uh, quote unquote. Whatever she did, they lost. They got trounced in the general election, McCain and Palin. And it was it was pretty telling that a lot of the reason that a lot of people didn't vote for her uh, for him was because of, of Sarah Palin. Yet we get to hear Sarah Palin and Jr. Maybe we can play this one. Uh, maybe we can play clip number four. Sarah Palin scaring us again into why we should be uh, we should be voting for somebody like Saxby Chambliss. why he is sent to Washington. He has stayed true to his principles. Today, those principles are needed more than ever. Senator Chambliss, he has such a strong independent spirit. And, and that's another reason that I really like him. Because see, I really like John McCain. And he, with that independent spirit, the two of them are very much alike in that way. Saxby <laughs> doesn't just run with the Washington herd. And with one party in control of the House and the Senate and the White House right now, we need now more than ever public servants who will think for themselves. Faced with a steep Democratic majority in Congress, Saxby isn't going to just be an easy yes vote or an automatic no vote. No, he's going to vote his conscience and he's going to do what's right for America. I would, uh, I would venture to guess, and this is only a guess, but that, that prior to this year, Sarah Palin had never heard the name Saxby Chambliss before. That she had never heard of the senator from Georgia. This is it. It is so ridiculous. He said, "Oh, he's going to vote for. He's going. He's a man who speaks for himself. Man who speaks for himself. By the way, importing the governor of Alaska to speak for him. Uh, but I, I have to say." This brings up so many questions in my mind, is that why would you have Sarah Palin, who seemed to have attracted zero interest except for some people who wanted to believe that she would be good, uh, uh, to, to bring out vote in Georgia? I don't understand it. And if that's what's going to be the certain determining factor here, uh, then the people of Georgia have a lot more problems than just who's going to win their Senate race. Also, what if you're from Alaska? And your senator, your governor, the governor of your state at a time when we have a national recession, at a time when oil prices are bottoming out, at a time when we see uh, all kinds of um, uh, pressure um, from uh, job creation and from the economy, your governor is gallivanting all across the country. Now, understandably, she was there uh, as the vice presidential candidate, and that's what they do. They campaign. They campaign all season long, and then they go home when they're done. But she is now back in Georgia, and I wonder who is paying for these trips for her to go from Alaska to Georgia. Uh, but that's just me. I'm just wondering about that. I, I'm delighted to see her. I, I hope that she stays the face of the Republican Party for a long time, uh, because the, the longer that she's in the limelight, uh, the better it is for Democrats.